design so I've kept this really really simple so let's start with what I'm doing first I'm doing three nails full coverage of lilac you can use any lilac that you like um, I've got CJP one coming at the minute because I'm running really low on on polishers so I'm using up the azure one um, I think it's 709 one but whatever it is because I really can't remember exactly <laughs> you know what i'm like i will pop it below if you are interested in this this one's beautiful brilliant coverage look at it goes on like a dream but it's just i wouldn't get it again just because it's such a small bottle it's like a three mil it's just not enough anyway so i'm going to do three nails pop them in the lamp give them a second coat pop that in the lamp then what i'm going to do on the other two nails i'm only going to do half in the lilac so on one I'm going to do the top half and on the other I'm just going to do the bottom half again pop it in the lamp do a second coat and fully cure that as well so that gives me the base on which I can work on now I'm going back to one of the full lilac nails and I'm putting a really really thin layer of base coat on then I'm going to go in with Glittery Purple from Madame Glam and I'm going to ombre it. Now I saw this technique done and I thought I'd try it and I thought I'd do it with you. I've never done it before and honestly I won't be doing it again. I didn't like it. I didn't get on with it at all. I didn't think it worked that well. But you're supposed to put the ombre colour that you're going to put on. So you, you, you completely cure one shade, then bring on the second shade and ombre it down. What it should do is then hit the base coat bloom and blend I uh, no, not a fan I ended up getting my ombre brush and just doing the normal blend so anyway I'm going to do that and I do two coats of that blend just to get a nice blend in there and that's going to be my glitter ombre so one of my half nails is going to be marble at the top and the other one will be a marble at the bottom so on this palette I have put a uh, white gel polish, the lilac one from Azure and the glittery purple from Madame Glam. I have popped them on the palette and I'm just going to float that over the top to make a beautiful marble on this nail. And then what I will do is pop it in the light and I will double cure this because this is a lot thicker with it being marbled on the palette. So like I said, I'm just going to float that on there. Now when I come to do this set, it was all based around the nail art. I wanted two full nails and I want really easy but salon viable uh, nail art for you guys. So I was looking at and I ended up playing with like dots and lines. That's all, that's all it was. I did straight lines, I did wavy lines and I did dots. I made it look a little bit paisley. I think that's the sort of look that I was going for. Right, okay, so three nails are done. My two marbles and my glitter ombre. So I'm just top coating these guys and then pop it in the lamp for a full cure. And then we're going to get on to the nail art nails, which is exactly what this set was based around. I didn't know quite what I was doing on the other three, <laughs> winging it as usual. So top coating this last nail, pop it in the lamp and give that a good sap. Then we're going to go in with matte top coat. I always do my nail art on matte top coat. If you want to make it shiny after you can go on with normal. But I actually left these two matte because I actually really liked it. So I'm using Ugly Duckling matte top coat, pop it in the lamp, give that a full cure. Then we're coming in with our gel paints. I'm going to be using artisan gel paints today. If you don't have gel paints, you can use normal gel polish, but it must be pigmented. So just wipe off once it comes out. Now this first nail is going to be in real time. And the second one I have sped up. So all I'm doing is curve lines. That's it. 
So coming in with the striper brush, striper brush, <laughs> I'm going to load it up. So you load up your brush first. Make sure it's coated in whatever it is that you're going to be painting with. Then you make sure you've got sufficient on the tip and then come in with those lines. So I'm going to do a half moon on the side. I'm going to do another curve at the top. Then I come in and I think, right, okay, I'll do a second. So nothing fancy. Just curve lines, that's all it is. Load up that striper brush. Take it to the edge. Load up that striper brush again. I'm going to do one more large curve line on the opposite side and link that up to the top. Then inside the big curve lines, I'm going to do another one. And this is where it started to turn a bit paisley. Here we go. So again, another nice curved line. Then I follow it round and I do another one. I'm just going to let you watch for the minute because all I'm doing is popping on curved lines and this is all in real time, like I said. As you go along you can also zap this give it a little nuke in the lamp for 10 seconds just to freeze the gel paint into place so that if you do go in and you're not happy with whatever you've done you can come in with gel cleanse on a lint free wipe and just wipe it away and do it again and then it won't disturb anything that you've already done so i'm looking at it and i'm thinking right okay let's put couple more just at the top I make sure I'm perfectly happy with it looking at it seeing does it need to be thicker if it needs to be thicker if you want to do a thicker line then you put more pressure on the brush if you want a thinner line you ease the pressure off So I think that's what I do on one of them. I, I make like a thicker line and then I go follow it with a second line and that one's a nice thin line. So I'm just looking at it and doing where I think is best. Then what I do is I come in with a detailer brush and I put some small lines in between the double lines, make like railway tracks. And then I'm coming in with a dotting tool and I'm just going to follow some of those lines. So what I do is I cure in between, once I'm happy, I look at the design, I decide where I'm going to put some. If you want to put, you know, fewer dots, you can do that. If you want to put a few more, you can do that. Just wing it, just freestyle and just have a look at it and decide where you think is best. If you look at it and you think, I really like that, zap it, get it, get it nuked, get it set in place. Because you can guarantee you come in again and you think, oh no, I don't like that. And then if you have to wipe it away, you don't want to wipe away what you've already done. So anyway, guys, this one is in real time. I will then put that in the lamp and give it a full cure once I'm happy. Then I've got the second nail. And this one I have sped up. And the first thing I do, come right down the middle with my striper brush with one big wave. The stand was getting in my way. I couldn't manoeuvre the tip. It's better with the tip on its own when I'm just having a play like this. So I'll just do one big wiggly line right down the middle and then I'm just going to do waves off it. That's it. That's, all, that's simply all I'm doing. Some are double up, some I don't. 
Do you know what? I really, really liked this design. I really did. I wanted to do something that you guys can do. That's just not, it's not a big deal. I'm not very good with lines, especially straight ones. They're about as straight as I am. So, you know, I'm using this time to just play and just have a look at what I can and can't do, improve on what I can't do. So, guys, I really hope you enjoy this little nail play today. I'm doing exactly the same on this one as I did on the other one. I come in and I put the little lines in. I come in and I put the dots in. Give it a full cure and that's the set done. So, as always, guys, I will leave everything that I've used today down below in the description box. If any of you do decide to have a go at anything that we've done today, my social media accounts are all listed below. Please tag me and I'd love to see it when you were uh, when you have a go at things like this. I absolutely love it. If this is more of the sort of things that you'd like to see, then uh, then let me know. You could do this on acrylic as well. You could do it on like an acrylic nail. It doesn't have to be just gel. I'll just use that today for simplicity, that was all. Anyway, guys, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you all for watching today. If you have enjoyed this video, would you please take a moment and hit that thumbs up? And if you're not subscribed already, I would absolutely love it if you would. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time. Bye.